Hi everybody, happy Monday. How are you all going? I hope you're nice and grounded because here um, at the practice in Frankston, it is blowing an absolute gale. Um, we've had kids coming in and parents coming in. Everybody's just been blown in from outside. Um, okay, just quickly share this to my group um, and over there as well okay so what we're talking about today is something really cool we're talking about the theory of relativity and how you can actually harness it for your business and this is one of the things that I found to be very very helpful not just for my business but also um, as a life lesson I guess so you've probably heard of the theory of relativity and in business what it means is that uh, everything is neutral Okay, so my mobile phone is neutral, my diary is neutral, my laptop is neutral, my relationship with clients is neutral, everything about my business that you can imagine is neutral. Things only become a thing when we attribute meaning to them. Okay, so for example, um, you know, maybe we attribute meanings and we'll go over some case examples in a second to all sorts of different things. And what happens then is it changes our vibration. And when our vibration or our energy changes, it then has a ripple effect onto things uh, in the broader sense of the business. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's say you're a psychologist or you're, um, you know, in a service industry and you look at your diary and you notice that you know you've gone from fully booked and now you've got three cancellations um, the three cancellations in and of themselves are neutral okay they're not good and they're not bad they're neutral it's your interpretation of them as good or as bad that's going to influence the outcome so if you uh, say oh no three cancellations nobody's going to want uh, my service people don't like me uh, I knew I shouldn't have raised my fees because now I'm too expensive and I'm, you know I'm just going to keep losing business how does that feel and what do you think that type of energy is going to do to your business versus looking at um, the same situation of cancellations in a different way and saying to yourself, well, hey, this is great because now I have this time to organize my marketing plan or maybe I have this time now to create a new service that I really wanted to work on. You say, maybe uh, this is a fantastic opportunity for me to go and sit with a team member and get to know them and connect um, in that really important way that I know you all really want to do. How would coming at cancellations in your diary from that approach feel for your business? And how would coming at cancellations from that approach affect your business? Okay, probably a lot better than the other. Another really common uh, scenario, of course, is complaints. So um, again, complaints in and of themselves are neutral. They're not good and they're not bad. It's what we bring to that situation. So if we bring a negative perspective and we say, oh, you know, they mustn't like me, they must think I'm a bad person, they don't like my services, um, I don't know what else I can do to please people. What's that energy versus seeing the same situation of a complaint as, oh, well, I'm really glad someone's brought this to my attention because uh, now I know that I can change it or this is an opportunity now for me to fix it so it doesn't happen again and I'm, I'm thankful for that or I'm, I'm really thankful that I've got the type of relationship with my clients where they feel comfortable enough to come and talk to me about issues or concerns or problems and that's really amazing. I must be doing something, right? What's that energy feeling like for your business and what impact will that energy have on your business versus the first example? Do you see what I mean? So what I would like you to do is have a good think for yourself about the type of outcomes that you would really like to be seeing in your business and think about examples just from the last week where you had all these neutral events but you brought your own stuff to it. And maybe you can identify some times when you were thinking about these neutral events in unhelpful ways. Let's revisit them and see what you could think about them that might be more helpful. See how that feels and see what kind of effect that might have on your business. So anyway, that's just a little bit about 
the law of relativity. It's a whole big thing, but I just wanted to break it down, do a little bit today. Uh, I hope that it's helpful and it gives you a different perspective. I think it's really helpful for life as well because I think sometimes we're just on autopilot and our subconscious kicks in and our beliefs kick in and we question ourselves a lot. Um, and having this understanding that everything in the whole wide world is neutral and that it's what we're bringing to the party it really is very empowering because it's that awareness and it's that self-knowledge that allows you to grow and expand in so many different ways at home and in your business and only clients and, and team member and everybody else are going to benefit from that. So anyway, let me know what you thought. Uh, if you would like uh, more information about how to up-level business using some of these techniques, please feel free to join my group. It's called Business Unleashed Tribe. It's totally free. It's on Facebook. For more information, just send me a PM and I'll happily add you. It's growing every day. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.